In this video, we will learn what is LoRa and its role in wireless communication. We will also learn its application in IoT fields such as smart home, smart industry, agriculture as well as all communication in modern cities. LoRa covers a wide range of application for small low-power IoT device. LoRa technology is developed by Semtech. We will take one of the popular LoRa module called SX1278 and learn about it and use to make smart wireless communication. We will first interface a pair of module with Arduino and make a transmitter as well as receiver. Then we will make a sample code using LoRa Arduino library. With the help of potentiometer, we will control the brightness of LED wirelessly as shown here. The second example is related to sending sensor data like humidity and temperature wirelessly from a long distance. So, without getting delayed let's get started. LoRa stands for long range and covers an area between 6 km to 800 km depending upon the type of LoRa module. Its frequency of operation is 433, 868 and 915 MHz, depending upon the region or a country. LoRa technology developed by Semtech connects billions of sensors, techs and actuators today in industrial, entrepreneur and consumer applications worldwide. LoRa technology is hosted by rapidly growing LoRa alliances. A strong worldwide ecosystem of telecommunication company, equipment manufacturers, system integrators, sensor manufacturers and semiconductors company. LoRa is run by LoRaWAN Open Source Communication Protocol. LoRa technology was created just three years ago but now it has more than thousand global members. This growth has enabled the LoRa to use in the key region around the world. Thinking of LoRa in IoT application, it's one of the easiest and commercially best solution for all internet if thing applicate. On. Operators in major global market are implementing LoRa One network to support IoT connectivity for LoRa-based devices. The LoRaWAN technology is widely adapted by big electronics giants like China, United States, Europe as well as India and other so many countries for smart low-power commune. With the DNA of IoT, and the ability of LoRa to self-replicate with the availability of Internet of Thing it is building of solutions for future devices. By offering a solution that is optimized for IoT industry as well as customer can be dependent on LoRa technology. Thus it can help to build a communication between number of remote endpoints, gateways and also transmitting that information to the cloud. Thus it is ultimately leading to the intelligent business decisions based on real-time data. There are so many tutorials on YouTube where you can learn about basics of LoRa. But now let's get on the main topic. The main topic is LoRa module SX1278. So this is the LoRa module named SX1278. Its front side and back side looks something like this. We will use this module to learn about LoRa communication. This module comes with different breakout board too which looks something like this. Here is the internal architecture of SX1278 module. I have taken this photo from the datasheets. It has multiple power amplifier to amplify the signal over a long distance. It consists of low pass as well as high pass filter, few analog to digital converter and multiplexer circuit as well. It has few crystal and RC oscillator. The modulation technique it uses is FSK called as frequency shift keying. The module has SPI interface that makes it faster than UART modules. So let us see the data sheet of this module given by Semtech. According to this data sheet the module is equivalent to SX1276, SX1277 and also SX1279. The frequency shown here is between 137 to 1020 MHz. But the module that I have works at 433 MHz. On the general description tab you can see all the standards power frequency and support it is having. Just see the key features here. Maximum link budget is 168 decibels. Plus 14 decibels high frequency power amplifier. Programmable bit is up to 300 kilobits per second. Sensitivity is very high up to minus 148 dBm. Current consumption is just 9.9 .9 milliampere with 200 nanoampere register current retention. The modulation technique it uses is FSK, GFSK, MSK and other technique. The RSSI is 127 decibels and cyclic redundancy ratio is 256 bytes. 
It has internal RTC and also a temperature sensor and low battery indicator. Its application includes automated meter reading, home and building automation, wireless alarm and security system, industrial monitoring and control, long-range irrigation system. If you want to learn more about this module, you can go through the data sheets. I have given data sheet link in description. Most of the modules available in market doesn't have any pin headers and are not breadboard friendly. You can solder some jumpers or mail header files to make it breadboard friendly as I did here with this module. With this particular small module, you can assemble or solder like this on Vero board to make it breadboard friendly. Let's see the SX1278 pinout. It has total 12 pins while other module has 14 to 16 pins too. It is a SPI module. So its SPI pins are MISO, MOSI, SPI clock and NSS as SPI chip select pin. It works up to 3.6 volt power supply. So don't supply voltage anything above it. Rather use 3.3 volts from Arduino. It has three digital input output pins and also a reset pin. Now let us interface SX1278 LoRa module with Arduino. So this is the transmitter circuit. SX1278 is connected to SPI pins of Arduino and is supplied with 3.3 volts power. Potentiometer is connected to a not pin of Arduino. Assemble the circuit exactly like shown here. Let us see the receiver circuit now. The LoRa connections remains the same. Instead of potentiometer connect one LED, connect the positive leg of LED to Arduino pin 3 and negative to ground. So, here is the transmitter circuit with potentiometer. I have assembled the same circuit on breadboard. Similarly, this is the receiver circuit with LED. Here is the code for both transmitter and receiver. It uses two library, one for SPI library and other for LoRa library. The LoRa library link is given in the description. You can download from there. Potentiometer value is defined as analog value in terms of integer. Also LED value is integer function depends upon transmitter value. We have defined one string to hold the input. We have initialized the function with board rate of 9600. And defined potentiometer value as input value. This line is printed on serial monitor depending upon the correct and incorrect connection of LoRa module with Arduino. You can see 433E6 written here. It's the frequency at which this modules operate. Some other modules operate at 915 or 868 MHz. If LoRa is available for transmitting data then loop function will come into play. The analog value from potentiometer is mapped and send over the wireless module. After that LoRa packet data is transmitted and ended using this command. I use delay of 50 milliseconds here. On the receiver side, the receiver waits for packet to receive and it pass the packet. If LoRa is available then data gets stored using string function. The same string value is read by receiver digital pin and thus LED brightness changes. Now select the right port and right board and upload the code to both the transmitter and receiver Arduino board. So here is the transmitter and receiver board. So with the potentiometer you can now control the brightness of LED wirelessly. Now open serial monitor on the both Arduino sketch. And now you can rotate the potentiometer to see the change in analog value at input and output. Also the impact on LED brightness. Now let us see the second example of LoRa. We will send and receive the sensor data wirelessly from long distance. So here is the transmitter circuit. The SX1278 module connection is still the same as earlier. Just connect 1 DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor. Connect its VCC to 5 volts, ground to ground and data pin to a knot of Arduino. Here is the receiver circuit, only LoRa SX1278 is connected to Arduino. We will observe output on serial monitor. So you can see here, I have assembled both the transmitter and receiver part on breadboard. The receiver part is only having LoRa and Arduino Uno. And the transmitter part is having DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor. So here is the sketch for this part. You need to add DHT library for transmitter code. DHT pin is connected to a knot of Arduino which is defined here. 
The DHT sensor type is DHT11, for DHT22 sensor use DHT22 here. We defined humidity as integer value and temperature as float. Again the same checking and same frequency assignment. This is the line to read humidity and temperature value from the library. Using LoRa print command we can send the temperature and humidity value here. The data packets are sent after the interval of 1 second. On the receiver side the data packet is checked whether it's available or not, and data packet in the form of character is stored. As soon as the data is received the data is printed on serial monitor. So upload the code to both the transmitter and receiver part. And open the serial monitor. So here you can see the temperature and humidity data is read by transmitter and sent to receiver wirelessly. It normally takes one second to send and receive next data depending upon the delay you implemented on the code. Now what I will do is. I will keep away the transmitter part to long distance. I will use 5 volts phone charger adapter to supply the power to Arduino. So I am keeping it far away on the chair here. You can see. Now let's read the value received on computer whether I am able to receive the value or not. So you can see here. The data is still transmitted and received even from long distance. The humidity and temperature data is still available. Thank you for watching. Subscribe my channel for more other future videos.